Hi friends, it's story time once again. I will be telling you the story of the dragon that could not spit fire. Have you heard of dragons? Yes, dragons are creatures that live up in the mountains and they can fly through the air and they also spit fire through their nostrils. Very scary. They look like dinosaurs, they look like lizards, they look like so many different things and they fly in the air and they spit fire from their nose and everybody is very scared of dragons. I'm going to tell you the story of one baby little dragon called Dino. Dino could not spit fire at all and it made him very, very, very sad. He went to his mummy and said, Mummy, everybody can spit fire, but I, I can't spit fire at all and nobody plays with me and everybody makes fun of me all the time, Mummy. Never mind, my child. Just go along. Go along every day. You will make friends one day. You will also spit fire one day like other dragons. All right? Now run along. Go to play. Don't stay home. And so little Dino went up the mountain where all the other dragons were playing with each other, holding their hands and circling and spitting fire and chatting and shouting and having a great time together. And when they saw Dino come, they all looked at Dino and said, Hey, here comes Dino, the one who cannot spit fire. Here comes Dino, the one who cannot spit fire. Ooh. Dino wanted to go back. It made him really, really angry and really, really sad that he could not spit fire at all and that his friends would not play with him at all. And all of them circled, held each other's hand and even as Dino watched, they flew away into the sky. All of them, all of them. Not even one stayed back with Dino. He sat there and looked up at the skies and prayed to the sky and said, please, please do something. I want to have friends too, please. But the skies just stared down at him. And as he sat there, looking at the sky and watching all of the other dragons going by, they all came swooping down to him. And he was so excited, he thought, oh, they've come back, they're going to play with me. And they said, oh, Dino's not gone, oh, Dino's still here. Dino felt even more sad and even more bad and he said, Well, you all don't know. I can't spit fire, but there is something else I can do. And they said, Really? What is it? What is it that you can do? Mm, uh, mm, uh, wait, I will show you what I can do. And Dino took a deep breath in and he let out his breath and everybody waited and watched to see what is going to come out of Dino's nostrils. Nothing came. <laughs> they all laughed. Is this what you can do? Wonderful. No, 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 no. I really can. Just wait, just wait. And Dino once again looked up at the sky and breathed very hard and looked down and took a deep breath and when he breathed out, out of his nostrils came flying ice cream cones, white, pink, brown, green, so many ice cream cones and all of his friends were so surprised. What? Ice creams? And they went and started plucking and grabbing their own ice creams. And one of them shouted, Hey Dino, I want butterscotch flavor. Alright. 
he breathed out and out came butterscotch ice creams. Mmm, slurp, slurp, yummy, yummy. And another one said, Dino, chocolate for me. All right. Hmm, Dino breathed out and out came chocolate ice creams and everyone took their favorite ice creams. What is yours? Hmm, there it was, the strawberry and mango and butterscotch and vanilla and all of these ice creams, they kept coming out from Dino and he was not spitting fire, but he was spitting ice creams. All of his friends loved him so much ever since and Dino, the dragon who could not spit fire, became the most favorite of all because he was now the dragon who would spit ice creams. Bye bye. Yogunlo Bhagavan at 20. Dhyana Yogun Gurinchi Prasavinskundam.